Hey, sub thugs, it's Ralph. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And for my extended family and subs, welcome also. And thank you so much for the love and support and the positive blessings and the positive thoughts and comments that you always constantly send me it is greatly appreciated. So on that note, Welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my channel, watching my videos, and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or if it's just about the content of the video, or just about you telling me about your life as being a hey oka, or any other spiritual gifts that you have been placed with. It will greatly be appreciated. Or if you enjoy what you heard or you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It will greatly be appreciated too. So thank you so much for the love and support. And thank you for coming by my channel. Today, uh, the meditation music I am listening to is music for stability, positive energy, healing, and solar plexus chakra. So I'll po post that in the description box below. So today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, we are setting free our subconscious fears. Setting free our subconscious fears. Did you notice if you are the type of person that meditates a lot, <clears throat> if you spend your time nature walking, meditate, meditate a lot, which I do. Um, I noticed that even though I have purged over the weekend, um, there's still some residue left of is deep in my subconscious. So it's just like I had to set those free. You know, it's just it's it's just no purpose on keeping those around. And it's like with us, if you have been through a traumatic experience as much as us many of us have, um, and you've been stuck in that limbo for a while and it might seem scary scary for you to let these things go and you're like I want to let them go I want to let them go why do they keep coming up why do they keep coming up I don't understand well the reason why they keep coming up is just the fact is it might be very deep in your subconscious that you figured out that you know you have released them but obviously it's something very much more deeper than you actually realize because there's times I you know I can purge I can sit up here and say I let go of things and and I'll be fine but the next thing you know, it could be a couple of days from now, or a week or so from now, or it, it can even be a month, that something will pop back up in my head, and next thing you know, my, my body language might change, or my emotions might change, and I'm just like, why did this happen? And it's because I obviously haven't dealt with that, you know, and it's just... When they come up like that, we're supposed to let it go like a balloon. We're not supposed to react to it. Just let it go. And it's the reason why it's coming up like that because it's trying to be released. It's just like when you have upset stomach. And you know you feel nauseous as I don't know what. And you're just like, oh my God, I hate to throw up. You know, but you know you feel it there. You know, and it just feels so much better, you know, not to be gross <laughs> when you finally release it. So basically, that's what it is. It's, um, a memory vomit that's why I always call it a memory vomit it's just like you burp it back up and you're just like oh give me a bad nasty taste in your mouth but we all have to release those it's just the whole point why are we holding on to these things what it, you have to ask yourself why are you holding on to these things what is the actual purpose is this going to benefit me by holding on to this is this going to benefit me no it's not is it going to change anything no <laughs> it's not because it's already happened there's nothing you can change about it but you can change how it can you know because some people when they've gone through so many things they will tend to act out towards other people of the things that's happened to them and don't even realize half the time they're doing it because this is all they know this is all they know so it's just like when you're going through all these things i'm so sorry if my eyes seem like they have uh wandered off because my another thing is popped up and I'm trying to sit up here and take it off so my bad but anyway sorry about that but yeah it's just it, it can go through a whole point on you just going through things and things you have to let go of because I mean there's times that you know 
certain experiences will come back that, you know, I thought that was wiped out of my mind. The things that, you know, because my, my memory has been altered. And so I understand how hard that is that you feel like you have let things go or it's probably hard for you to let go. It's just like you've been this way for so long that when you actually have the opportunity to live a life with peace of mind and happiness, you have been stuck in this state for so long and you hold on to it. Like if you even watch tarot cards, you're, you're, you know, if you're, it's sunset, sunrise or whatever, and you're dealing with things and you see a card come up with this person holding all these swords that you really don't have to. You can just place those down and just keep on moving. But it's just with this shift is going on that a lot of people are not able to let go of the things that were deep down in their subconscious. But these are the things that we're going to have to deal with. We're going to have to set free so we can become the best version of the ver version of ourselves. So I'm hoping that you were able to resonate with the video and I understand that when we're going through this situation, there's things that we have gone through that can be very traumatic, but you have to let them go. Now, trust me, I know. I have to I had to let them go and I'm still dealing with some of my stuff, but I chose not to react on them because it's just like a balloon, you have to let them go. So I hope you are able to resonate with this video. I will keep you in my prayers. Please do the same for me. It will greatly be appreciated. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I would love to hear from you. Uh, like and even share. It will greatly be appreciated. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Love one another. And just meditate. Drink a lot of water. You know, it's, it's summertime. It's about to be summertime, so it's probably hot in certain areas. Whoever's watching this. But I will see you on my next video. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Namaste. Peace. And be wild.